This is Emily Young making a sign catcher. Hi, I'm here with Victor, and today we're going to make a sign catcher. Hi, Victor. Hi, Emily. This is Emily Young. She'll score a goal, play pretend, make a bunch of brand new friends. Learning, laughing, sharing, smiling. We'll have lots of fun with Emily Young. Victor, what is a sun catcher? Is it like one of those like crystals that hang in front of the window that it makes rainbows all over? What it does really is the sun catcher is where the reflection of the sun is reflected through the ornament and the light is reflected and you get to see different kinds of lights coming through the different kinds of stones that you put. Do you get to choose what kind of stones you put in? Do you mean like gems or something? Oh yeah, you get to use gems, you get to use small pieces of glass, different <laughs> colors, any color you want. Would you like to see something that I've made earlier today? Okay. Awesome. Um, I picked a green and some oranges and this is obviously little leaves that I made with little red center. Where do those beads come from? Well, these beads, I actually get them at the craft store, and they're basically stained glass, but they're actually shaved off into small circles and different kinds of shapes. Can you make any, any design you want? Oh, any design. We should go and find some flowers that you really like here that you could pick and choose, and we could go for a little walk and find a flower that you really like, and then we can design that flower and we could put it on. On my way in here, I saw some flowers that I really like. Really? This is Emily Young looking for inspiration. Let's see what flowers I find. Whoa, whoa, look at all these flowers. Wow. Look at those purple ones. Wow, that's nice. They're on like on a vine. It looks like a, fa a shower. A shower? Yeah, it's a shower of purple flowers. I like those purple flowers, but I think I'm gonna find something pink. Okay, well, this is a nice one right here. It's a nice little light pink one right here. Uh, not quite. No, not quite. But they have a nice little yellow center. You don't like the red ones, right? No. Let's keep going. There's lots oh, of... Oh, I like these ones. Which ones? These ones. Really? What are they called? I think pink bells. Pink bells? You like it? Oh, yeah. So this is the one that you wanna do? <laughs> okay, so I say what we do is we'll sit right there, right, right right there, and I have these markers, and I guess we'll place them up here and we'll sketch that. Wanna know some of my other favorite colors? Of course. Um, I like purple and red. And I like yellow as well. Mm, I, like, I like yellow too, but it's sort of a, like a light color that you can't really see on white paper. No, yes, exactly. You have a drawing now. What we'll do is we'll take the piece of glass that I have, right, and we'll place it on top. Would you like to have this in your ear? Okay. So we'll put this right here. And there we go. I think we're ready to make our sun catch. I think so as well. So shall we go? Okay. Let's go. As you can tell from the ones that we've made already, that you need to put a foil tape around the ends and making it even more reflective. So we put this over the image? Of course, we put this over the image. And what you do now is you want to place the image according to where you want your beads to go. So do you like it here? Do you like it here? Where do you like it? Um, just like that. Just like that, okay. So now you've already moved one step ahead. Is finding beads that you feel that'll make up the image that you have underneath there. So it's basically the drawing works as a guideline for you to place the beads and create the image. Perfect. Oh, I thought I, thought I saw one. Oh, go ahead. There you go. Yeah. Beautiful. So what we have to do now is we have to glue all these images. Is it good to get a clear glue to, so the sun can see through? Very good question, yes. Because if you have a glue that stops the light from traveling through, then it defeats the whole sun catcher purpose, right? You want the light to travel through the beads and out and reflect. Now the reason I bring popsicle sticks is when you work with glue, especially epoxy, you don't want to get it on your fingers. Yeah, because then your fingers can hurt the cover part. So you don't want that. You mostly use tape at school, but tape wouldn't be good for this po project. No, because you know why you tape wouldn't be good for this project? Because it would slip off and it would peel off and it would look yucky. Exactly. 
Um, actually, they look like two eyes, so this has to go here. OK. This one goes here. See, it's quite fast to make these. Let me get some more glue on that for you. Spread that out. So that goes up top. It's beginning to look like a flower. Yes. Actually, it doesn't look at all like a flower. It looks like a, a deadly robot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, Victor, for making a sun catcher with me. I had so much fun. You're very welcome. <laughs>